Hey there class, it's Phil McDowell, the Mortgage Professor, coming back at you. And if you've taken that previous course that I had that was all about cash back or free down programs were the boiler makers of the mortgage industry. Well, I've got something new for you and it's that old expression. Have you ever heard of you're damned if you do and damned if you don't? Well, guess what folks? You might as well start drinking because this is the occasion where a boiler maker actually makes some economic sense. And why do I say that? Well, there was a recent March announcement from the Conference Board of Canada that said Calgary is more than likely to increase prices by five to seven percent. Now, average house price is around four hundred thousand dollars. So you take a look at it and you say, hey, five to seven percent. Well, maybe I better wait, save up some more down payment, and then I'll jump into the marketplace. Well, if you wait for the marketplace to go up by only three and a quarter percent, that's not even halfway marked to the top range, guess what happens? You don't break even had you just got into the marketplace right now with one of these free down or cash back mortgages. Ah, but you say, I've heard that interest rates are going to go up, and because interest rates are going to go up, prices aren't going to go up. The reason why I know that is because when interest rates go up, supply demand curve says prices, at best, are going to stay even. So I'll stand pat, I'll wait until I save. Yeah, but how much does interest rates have to go up? Well, if we take a look at that $400,000 house, and let's say over the next year, no way it goes up. It's 400000 Hey, I'm a smart cookie, but interest rates went up. How much do they have to go up before you equate to a loss compared to buying the house now at current interest rates with the three down programs? Discounted rates, the very best ones. We don't know what's going to happen a year from now with the financial institutions if they're going to provide the kind of discounts they've got today. But if interest rates go up, the very best rate that you can get with your full down payment of 5%, if the interest rates only go up by 0.65%, also known as 65 basis points, you're basically at a break even. Now we've seen in the last month that interest rates have gone up almost a full percentage point. There's lots of news going out that the Bank of Canada is anticipated to raise their prime lending rates. And we know that when prime goes up, bond rates tend to go up and that 65 basis point or 0.65% in a year's time may look fairly cheap. So just watching your money. If you've been considering about buying a home, haven't got your down payment yet, have really good credit, you may want to consider taking a look at those Boilermaker mortgages after all. Just looking at your money.